Hey, remember that gunslinger chap? I think it's about time we checked in and saw how he was getting on. Here are 19 reasons to read the second book in the Dark Tower series. It's the drawing of the three. Hi everyone, I'm Dave Musson, at Dave Musson on Instagram. You know the deal now, this is the place where I'm going through all of Stephen King's works in chronological order and giving you 19 reasons to read each one. Why 19? Because phew, Stephen King. If that sounds like something you'd like more of, do check out my channel and feel free to subscribe as well so you don't miss any future videos. In this one, we've reached 1987 and we're going back to Midworld and picking up the Dark Tower epic with book two, The Drawing of the Three. Now, recently I did a special about The Dark Tower where I put together my suggested reading order for the whole series. It doesn't cover any spoilers or anything like that. It's just information about a possible way in which you might want to pull them all together. If you want to watch that video, there's a link floating above my head somewhere right now. Do go and check that one out. But for now, let's jump in to the drawing of the three and 19 reasons to read this fucking thing. As always, there might be some spoilers ahead. Let's go. So this one's unusual for King in that it is a sequel. He doesn't really do sequels that often. We've got Black House for The Talisman, we've got Doctor Sleep for The Shining, but both of those came much later in his career. This, by picking up the tale of the gunslinger, was the moment that King admitted to everyone that there was a lot more story to tell here. So this book quite literally picks up where the gunslinger left off. Roland wakes up on the beach, he knows his fate thanks to the Man in Black's tarot cards, and he is ready to go. Only trouble is, when he wakes up, he realises he's being approached by this horrific lobster monster thing that Roland calls a lobstrosity that makes sounds like da da chuck, da da chum, da da chick, da da chum, and oh fuck, he bites two of Roland's fingers off. Talk about a flying start. So Roland kills that lobster thing, obviously, but he's now missing two fingers and has got a wound that is infected and slowly crawling through his system. Also, there's the whole deal of a gunslinger missing two fingers. Kind of a problem, right? Set the book up perfectly. The Drawing of the Three is many people's favorite book in the Dark Tower series. And I think one of the reasons why is that this story is a getting the band together story. We meet so many key characters for the whole Dark Tower series in this book. So to get those key characters into Roland's world, Roland has to draw them into Midworld through these weird doors that he sees on the beach in his feverish haze. Each door opens out into New York in a different time period, and that allows the story to tie together Midworld and Our World and have Roland crossing back and forth with a real swashbuckling air about it. It's a riot. So that first door is labelled The Prisoner, and behind it is Eddie Dean, drug addict, wise mouth, and a great character. So with Eddie, you need to be prepared for violence, tension, and nakedness. One thing Eddie does help with is medicine. He gets Roland aspirin, or Astin, as Roland stupidly calls it, and some antibiotics to help him beat off that infection. Lol, I said beat off. Anyway, Eddie helps save our hero. That's the important thing to remember. We should probably just gloss over the fact that he also manages to kick a heroin addiction just like that. Because pff, heroin, easy, done with it, mate. Let's just ignore that. So the second door is called the Lady of the Shadows and behind it is Odetta Holmes, a disabled civil rights activist and a person who is actually two women in one. And her dark half, let me tell you, is fucking terrifying. Fun fact, apparently Odetta Holmes' name is actually a reference to a real Odetta Holmes who was a civil rights activist in the 60s. So the real Odetta actually performed at the Civil Rights Movement's 1963 march on Washington where she sang Oh Freedom. So let's go to door three, the pusher, which brings us not to a new friend, but a very bad man. A very bad man called Jack Mort, who, as you will discover, has some profound effects on the characters in this tale. Fun fact, in my old band, I wrote a song that was loosely based on the story of Jack Mort. Will I tell you where to find it? No, you all hate my music. Why would I do that? Anyway, all of these things build and build and build, and it brings us to this amazing climax involving underground trains, split personalities, and more lobstrosities. 
if you don't enjoy this bit, you are probably not going to enjoy the rest of the Dark Tower series. Another fun fact for you, yep, I'm full of them today. In 1989, in the Stephen King official newsletter, the man himself wrote that The Drawing of the Three was his kid's favorite book. Kind of a kick in the teeth for The Eyes of a Dragon, which he wrote for his kids. Fucking ungrateful pricks. Now, considering this is a Dark Tower book, there's not actually that much crossover with the rest of King's works, which is pretty unusual for this series. But don't worry, he makes up for it plenty as we go on. So for me and my own journey with the Dark Tower, this was the book that got me hooked. When I first read all of King's works, I saved the Dark Tower series until last. I was kind of daunted by it. And by the time I got to the end of The Gunslinger, I was pretty, meh, what's the big deal? But then I forced myself to go straight into The Drawing of the Three, and by the end of this book, I was totally hooked. That's why I always advise people to do the same. If you are taking the quest to The Dark Tower, please put books one and two together. It will all make sense by the time you get to the end of this. Almost forgot to give a special shout out to Enrico Balazar and his cronies, the drug lords, the gangsters, the cliched as fuck characters who really you should just be cringing at, but actually are a lot of fun. Finally, I guess a plea from me. This book is great, but it doesn't really work as a standalone. You need to have read The Gunslinger before you read this. You just get so much more out of it. Take, for example, the fact that Roland loses his fingers. If you don't know who Roland is and what his story is, then that doesn't really mean much to you, does it? And this book also sets up so much more for the rest of the Dark Tower series. Yes, it's a bit of a bridging novel, but it's got a great story in it. And it's a crucial part of the Dark Tower tale. Like I said, it's a great book, but if you just read it as a standalone and expect to get the most out of it, you're gonna be disappointed. So there you go, 19 reasons to read The Drawing of the Three, the second book in the Dark Tower series. Do let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you wanna come and chat more about it, I'm at Dave Musson on Instagram. Do come and say hi. Thanks as always for sticking around and watching these videos. Take care. Next time, things are gonna get miserable.